guys, um, my name is Teresa Werther. I'm an employee at Hot Pots and I'm showing you guys a few techniques you can do around the house just with your kids um, so they have something to do during this time. Um, today we're doing bubble wrap. It's just a cute technique that you can use with just some extra packaging you have probably from a package that shipped to your house um, not too long ago. Um, you just need a small piece of it, not too big. Um, you'll also need some sort of sponge. Um, you can probably also use your finger if you don't have one around the house, um, if you're not afraid of getting dirty or anything. Um, you can probably also use um, any sort of paper towel. You can just dip it right in and just pat it right onto the bubble wrap, um, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, we'll also need a good piece of paper. You can use a, one a little more flimsy than this. Any sort of printer paper is fine, but today I'm using something similar to poster board. Um, you can also cut up just like a cereal box and use that if you wanted to. Um, anything's pretty sturdy enough for the bubble wrap. Um, you'll also need some paint. Um, any sort of acrylic paint is fine, just lying around the house, and then some water just to clean out your sponge with. Um, so we're gonna start by covering the bubble wrap today. Um, I have two different colors here. I have like a dark blue and then like this coral orange color. So I already have the blue poured out and I'll just pour a little bit more of that orange on there. You don't need too much, just a cute little dollop of that is fine. Um, and then you'll go ahead and take your sponge or whatever you're using. Like I said, you can use your finger. You can also use a paper towel or napkin and just kind of soak that in your paint. You want a decent amount on there. And then you're just going to go ahead with that bubble wrap and just kind of tap it right on. And you'll notice that it doesn't cover the entirety of that circle and that's totally fine. The texture from that bubble wrap is what makes the technique look pretty cool. So that's what it's starting to look like so far. And I'll go in with that orange coral color. And I mixed it a little bit with that blue, so it's a little bit darker, but if you want, um, if you're changing colors, that would be a good time to wash out your sponge if you don't want them to blend at all. Um, so I'll go ahead and wash that really quick. And with a sponge, all you need to do is just dip it in a clean water and just squeeze a little bit of that out. And then if you have an apron on, you can wipe it on your apron. If you don't, you can just use a paper towel. That's totally fine. And you'll just get some of that water out of there. So it's pretty clean. And then you can go in with that second color if you are using a second color. And then just pat that down a little bit more. Now you want this to kind of be a quick process. You don't want your paint to dry on your bubble wrap for you or anything like that. And I'll even add a little bit more paint just to make sure. And it's best to tap and not swipe. If you swipe, it kind of, it should be okay, but if any of those bubbles are popped at all, it'll go in the creases and you don't want it to really get on there. Um, so this is what my bubble wrap looks like right now. And I'll just take this piece of paper right here and flip it right on there. Once you have it on there, you wanna just go ahead and just pat it a little bit. Press it down, just make sure it's all on there and then you can peel it right up. And it'll look something like that. It's a great technique to use for any sort of craft you wanna do with your kids. Um, you can use it just as a collage or you can just leave it like this and just put it on your fridge or anything like that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this technique. Um, feel free to send us pictures of your projects on Facebook. All right, thanks so much for watching.